In the year 1962, amidst the chaos of a military rebellion in Venezuela, a priest and a dying soldier's paths crossed in a remarkable act of bravery and compassion. Navy chaplain Luis Padilla, undeterred by the danger that surrounded him, ventured into the streets ravaged by sniper fire to offer last rites to those on the brink of death. As he braved the bullets that chewed up the concrete around him, he encountered a wounded soldier who clung to the priest's cassock, desperately seeking solace in his final moments. The photographer Hector Rondon Lavera, risking his own life, managed to capture this heart-wrenching moment in a photograph that would later become iconic. Lying flat on the ground, Rondon snapped the image of the government soldier crawling towards Padilla, while the rebel sniper fire loomed in the distance. The government forces eventually took control of the town, but not before the rebels, who had sought refuge in the Solano castle, were pounded into submission over two grueling days. What makes this story even more extraordinary is Padilla's understanding of the enemy soldier's reluctance to harm him due to their shared Catholic faith. His presence alone challenged the enemy's orders, creating a powerful propaganda that showcased the priest's unwavering courage. The uprising against the Venezuelan government was swiftly crushed, but the impact of this photograph lingered, capturing the attention of the world. In 1963, the photograph titled Aid from the Padre earned Hector Rondon Lavera the prestigious World Press Photo of the Year Award and the coveted Pulitzer Prize for Photography. The image itself is hauntingly powerful, with the backdrop of a butcher's shop symbolizing the carnage and horror of the scene. The phrase, Fue una carnicería, it was carnage, resonates deeply with the Spanish language, further emphasizing the brutality of the moment. Despite the controversy surrounding the rebellion, Padilla's selfless act of providing last rites to dying soldiers was universally mourned as a testament to human compassion in the face of war. El Portonazo, as the rebellion came to be known, left a trail of destruction, with over 400 lives lost and 700 injured before the rebels' stronghold fell on June 6, 1962. This gripping tale of bravery and sacrifice serves as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, even in the darkest of times.